Majid Raza Rahnavard, Iranian, executed over allegedly attacking security forces. Mustafa Al Khayat, Saudi Arabian, executed over alleged terrorist activities. These are just two of the 883 people reported to have been beheaded, hanged, shot, or poisoned in government-approved executions in 2022. Amnesty International, which researched the report with data from 20 countries, says that it's the highest number of executions in five years and shows an increase of more than 50% compared with 2021. While China holds the grisly global number one spot, some 90% of worldwide executions were carried out in just three countries, Iran, Saudi Arabia and Egypt. In 2022, 81 people were executed on the same day by Saudi Arabia. Indeed, in authoritarian countries, we see that there is a tendency to use the death penalty as a tool of terror. In some countries, the scope has been extended where protesters can be executed after being sentenced to death in totally unfair trials. Amnesty noted that close to 40% of all the executions carried out last year were for alleged drug-related offenses. Under international human rights law, those who retain the death penalty are supposed to use it only for, quote, the most serious crimes that involve intentional killing. But in this bleak overall picture, there is, however, a positive development. We had six countries that abolished the death penalty in law uh, completely or uh, they removed it from the penal code, which gives us hope that they will, uh, there will be more uh, full abolitions coming up. Uh, that kind of good news comes from all regions. We had uh, Papua New Guinea, we had Kazakhstan, and we had three countries in Africa that uh, took those steps. Still, the surging numbers in the MENA region are a major cause for concern. Oh! <laughs>